intermingled with the persistent feeling of disaster. A new sensation seems to be hovering over my shoulder, one of dread. It is founded on nothing solid, probably just my hysterical imagination playing tricks on me. But in the fleeting glance upon rounding a street corner, in the de deafening silence of a sudden moment of solitude, I feel as though I'm being hunted. It is as though a predator shadow follows me around. Its ethereal form, close enough to sense but impossible to grasp. I received a letter from Philip today. Hanny has not yet arrived in Luxor, but my fears about leaving Rupert in Philip's hands were a were assuaged rightly by his post. He said that Rupert's condition is stable, yet unchanged. This is not the news I was hoping for, but I am comforted to find out that he is not slipping away while I chase after some foolish jewel or nonsense, with only Rupert's translations known for, and this early jewel more to keep me company. My confidence is shaky and best. How do I even know that this thing is pointing me in the right direction? Is there is there sufficient reason to believe that this emerald tear can save Rupert? We don't know. Alright, let's see. Let's see, we need to find an Egyptian axe. Cat again? Seriously? I don't think cats live in bazaar. I mean, Tat's tomb. Okay, rubber stamp. <sighs> oh. Up here. <sighs> I can't find the rubber stamp. Maybe I'll use a hint. Oh, there it is. Alright. Now let's go back to the rock. We need to find a, a guitar, a moon, a Grecian urn, a traffic light, goldfish, grapes, a bird boot. And a camera.
Generation Earth. Library. Oh dear, this is not good. Thirteen toilet brush. We need to find a toilet brush. Three buildings. Four riding gears. A lemon lever. A scythe. A scythe. An odd screen. A tea bag. And a whistle. One more. There's one more riding gear. Oh, I see. A spur. A lemon reamer. An olive spoon. Tea bag. All right, a whistle. Right over here. Alright, let's see. Oh no, not another puzzle. Wait, get out of here, Scarab. Alright, let's see. I was wrong. It's not the coal mines. It's the copper mines. Alright, let's see. What do we have here? Let's see. We have a quarter, a quarter, a pickaxe, a noose, a train, a cat, a flashlight, an Egyptian coin, and a ruler. Alright, we found a train, an Egyptian coin, a quarter. That's creepy toots! Wait. 
is a PG. Wait, what? Cyprus was just one step on Alexander's march across the ancient world. His imperial wanderlust could not be quenched, leading him to press his army ever forward. Liberation was not the only gift he left in the hands of the Cyprians. Upon his departure, of, he entrusted the emerald tear to the Cyprian priesthood. Of the gosh Aphrodite. Although he claimed that the mythic gem would help protect the island from future conquerors, tales of Alexander's private discourse, he lay an alternate motivation. As he studied the artifacts stolen from Egypt, he began to doubt the tale of the Emerald Tear. The further his the further he researched, the more he became convinced that the powers of his previously praised possession were questionable at best. Attributing his miraculous recovery to not but divine providence and an affirmation, an affirmation of his mandate to rule the known world, he abandoned this false talesman at the hands of the priest for There it remained for nearly a hundred years, awaiting liberation at the hand of another great conqueror. Let's go to the bazaar first. Alright, let me find it. A pistol, a Tiffany lamp, balloons. Or a candlestick, a wooden stool, a bell, a genie, an umbrella. Oh, I see, it's not a gem. right here, a genie lamp, and an umbrella. An umbrella is very hard to find. Maybe a hint. Aphrodite's rock. We need to find a, a surfboard. Two blades, two, three seashells, sunscreen, soda, soda can, and a photo frame. 